What is up, you guys? Kenny D here, and this is another video we're about to do. And we're just gonna do this so far, and I'm really excited to see this so far. If you if you did, please like the video if you're interested. If you don't, that's fine. So today we're doing we're gonna do the my 2021 wish list for the Spin Master Monster Jam toy line. So I hope you guys are excited for next year because Spin Master is gonna make more of these trucks and it's gonna be a wild, wild ride. So let's go. So the first one we're gonna talk about is the arena favorites. Although we still have like two of them though, but and believe me, they're like two of, of the arena favorites. So here's two of two of the arena favorites. That is Lucas Oil Crusader and the Mad Scientist. Although you can only see them in the commercial, which is probably good, I'm I guess. Although there were canceled trucks. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, there were like canceled trucks, and we don't know that because. And along with the other arena favorite trucks were Black Stallion and Overkill Evolution. So hopefully these guys will be in the arena favorites for the uh, 2021 Spin Master toy line. So hopefully they will be, it will be cool if they're releasing them soon in the near future. I mean, I gotta say, I'm pretty sure I'm impressed. So... Yeah, anyway, that is the arena favorites that, that Spin Master is going to make, or they're going to do, probably soon. So let's get on to the Legacy Trucks. Alright, on to the Legacy Trucks. We got the Grave Digger, that is the Grim Reaper design. Oops, sorry. Tasmanian Devil. The Saudi Arabia Mohawk Warrior. Metal Militia. Jared Eichelberger's Max D. And Neil Elliott's Max D. Yeah, both of them were up here. This one was up here in the Will Files 18 or was it 19 Encore from Racing. And this Mohawk Warrior design was used in the Saudi Arabia event. So. This was custom built by Racing Fan 15. If you hadn't checked his channel yet, so yeah, I made it for myself. If you haven't checked my, pre if you haven't checked my other channel or my previous video or my last video or my three years video, I did a, I made a custom international Mohawk Warrior. It looks so good. I mean, I mean, this would be cool if Purple Mohawk Warrior would be released in a Spin Master toy line. Since last time I got the Great Clips one. Now I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure this truck right here is going to be the next Mohawk Warrior. Hopefully they'll release it. So hopefully they'll release it in the Legacy trucks in the near future. But I'm hoping I'm excited for the Tasmanian Devil Monster Truck. I'm, I'm excited for this one. So I'm excited for the Tasmanian Devil Monster Jam Truck that will be in the Spin Master toy line. So hopefully we get to see this one in person. And I'm hoping that this will be the this will be the awesomest one yet. All right, now let us get on to the crazy creatures. So we're now on to the crazy creatures. That's right, we're on to this one so far. So we got Predator, Zombie Hunter, Nitro Hornet on a trophy truck design. So hopefully Nitro Hornet will give us a trophy truck design like they did in King Crunch. I'm thinking they're, they're going to make the one in Nitro Hornet. Zombie Yellow, Prowler, Devastator, and Brutus. And yes, I know Brutus is a creature. Don't judge me. I know that. And I think it's part of, part of the Dog Pound. But it's okay. That's a creature. Who even knows? That could be our first one yet so far. And I'm not kidding around because... Those are the crazy creatures trucks yet. So, in my opinion, they're going to look great in their Spin Master diecast forms. So, hopefully, they'll make them pretty soon in the near future. So, hopefully, Spin Master would make those guys. 
and along with the crazy creatures, I'm thinking there's going to be making another... I'm thinking Prime Evil would be perfect, but I'm not going to do that because that would be bad. But it's okay. It's, it's Spin Master for you. So that would be the crazy creatures. Now we're getting on to the rough crowd. So I believe we all know there's going to be like two other rough crowd monster trucks. And I'm thinking there was, I don't know if there's going to be two of them. But we'll see that soon enough when Spin Master is going to do. So this one will be Scooby-Doo in a brand new design. Well, actually it was, wasn't. Scooby-Doo with, with like, uh, gray or black beat locks and Monster Mud Doberman. That would be really awesome if they're releasing another Monster Mud, but a Doberman. That would be really awesome. So hopefully that will be really cool if they're going to do it. And I'm hoping it's going to be Wild Ones. Yeah, I just, I just don't know why, but it's, worth, it's, uh, it's, it's good enough for that, so... Yeah. So that is the rough crowd, which is, I know it's a short one, so don't even judge me. So now we're getting on to the Nitro Neons. So now we're getting on to the Nitro Neons. We got El Toro Loco, Mohawk Warrior. I'm guessing they'll have, like, purple tires and black rims. I'm hoping they're going to do that. Northern Nightmare and Blue Thunder. They haven't do those, like, for, like, a day, but... Hopefully soon we might get to see them, and I'm going to be excited for those. Hopefully they'll release Nitro Neon's Blue Thunder in the near future. Probably soon. I don't know. Probably. You, you'll see, but you'll see about that. Yeah, last time in back in 2016, there he did the El Toro Loco color treads. Will they do the El Toro Loco Nitro Neons? We don't know. We'll see what happens soon if they're going to they're gonna be releasing it. And along with Blue Thunder... Hopefully they're releasing in Nitro Neons, Mohawk Warrior, hopefully, and Northern Nightmare. Hopefully they'll do that one, those, those guys soon. And I believe that's going to be it for Nitro Neons. Now we're going to the Danger Divas. So the next one will be Danger Divas. We got North Authority, Reptoid, and Backdraft. And I'm pretty sure this will be perfect. This will be a good idea. For the Danger Divas set for Backdraft, Reptoid, and NEA. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's worth a try. We don't know it. We'll see in the near future. Yeah, hopefully we might get to see that one pretty soon. I don't know. Yeah, I, I we don't know if they're releasing other Danger Diva trucks. So hopefully Backdraft will be one. So hopefully Backdraft will be releasing a Spin Master toy line. Along with New with Authority since they canceled that one. And I'm hoping they release Reptoid. So hopefully they release those guys. So I'm pretty sure that is going to be the Danger Divas. Now we're on to the Inverse Trucks. We're halfway there to World Finals and the Forces of Nature. And Retro Rebels. Why am I forget those? Now we're going to the Inverse Trucks. We're going to have Monster Mutt Rottweiler. We'll have like the orange body on here and the black body right here. El Toro Loco and Son of a Digger. So hopefully they release those two guys. So hopefully last time they did they released Monster Mutt in a or Monster Mutt Dalmatian in a inverse body. So I'm hoping they release Monster Mutt Rottweiler. That would have been really awesome. They're releasing it. Would you guys agree? I don't know. You let me know in the comment section down below. And hopefully they release El Toro Loco because they didn't release that one yet. And also, Son of a Digger. So hopefully they release this one in an inverse body. Since they will have switched colors. Oh, I almost forget. As a bonus, we might see the inverse Blue Thunder. Will be going on in here. So that will be really awesome. So hopefully we might get to see it. Soon enough, and we might get to see that truck in person. So that is Blue Thunder... Son of a Digger, El Toro Loco, and Monster Mutt Rottweiler in the Inverse Trucks line. Now, we got three more left to go. And that is World Finals. So now we're going to have two World Finals trucks. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be one. 
I'm pretty sure that's gonna be King Crunch, probably. We'll get to see that. So here's our the Wolf Finals trucks, Wolf Finals toy line. That is the Charlie Pockins Grave Digger, Avenger, which is gonna be the Wolf Finals 21 body, hopefully. Or the Wolf Finals 10, we might keep they we might keep that one. And the uh, night version of King Crunch. Yes. Yeah, they did in the they did a Wolf Finals design of King Crunch back in like 2007 or 8. Doesn't matter what year it is, so you get the idea. So hopefully we might get to see Charlie Pockins Grave Digger, Avenger, and King Crunch will be in the toy line. I know they did it in the Retro Rebels. Well, they can, well they can do a Wolf Finals design of King Crunch. We don't know that. It's up to you guys. It's up to Spin Master to see it. So hopefully we might get to see that one pretty soon and that much. So here we go. We got one. We got two more left, and that is the Forces of Nature. Just so you know, I almost forgot about the heroes and villains. I almost forget about those guys. I'm really sorry about that, guys. So here's the heroes and villains Spin Master toy line for next year. That is Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man, and Red Skull. I'm hoping they'll release Red Skull since they did the Joker last time. Hopefully they'll release these guys pretty soon. We might get to see heroes and villains. That will have Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, and Red Skull. Hopefully they release those guys pretty soon in the near future in the Spin Master toy line. So hopefully, we'll see. So that is uh, Heroes and Villains. Now we're going to the Forces of Nature this time. So now we're going to the Heroes of... I mean, not Heroes and Villains. Forces of Nature. We got Shocker and the Patriot. So hopefully they release these guys in a Spin Master toy line. Since they they had a tailgate since ten years, although you cannot see it because I I think I I think I scratched it because it's I hope it, I'm hoping they release these guys. Yeah, hopefully they release Shocker in a Forces of Nature toy line along with the Patriot. That would have been really awesome. They really, they're gonna do that in a Spin Master toy line, and it's gonna be the wild wildest ride. And yeah, I don't know how, but that's gonna be the word to try. So that is the Forces of Nature. We almost forget there's going to be train there's going to be elemental trucks. So hopefully we might get to that right now. Next up we'll have El Toro Loco and Pirate's Curse, part of the Elemental Trucks toy line. So hopefully they'll release those guys soon and I'm hoping they'll release them in the near future. So hopefully they'll they'll be announced it when Spin Masters are going to be releasing more Spin Master trucks. And I'm hoping it's going to be exciting. And I'm going to say, I'm pretty sure I'm impressed about this. So I can't wait for Spin Master. He's going to make more um, toy line trucks, and I'm excited for them. So that is the Elemental Trucks. Last but definitely not least, it is the Retro Rebels. We might get to... Um, ride trucks as a bonus so don't worry about that one so let's go here we go guys we're getting on to the retro rebels and it's gonna be awesome guys and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the awesome one yet so we're gonna have the we have six or make that seven I think was make that eight so here's eight so here's eight retro rebels for the spin master toy line so here they are there's Power Forward, Bustin' Loose, Vec King, Sun Impact, Wrecking Crew, Michigan Ice Monster, Medusa, and Titan. So hopefully we might get to see those trucks in a Spin Master toy line. If I'm thinking Medusa, that'll be counted as a Danger Divas, probably. We might get to see Medusa in a Spin Master toy line. That would have been really awesome if they were releasing a Spin Master toy line. And it's going to be the wildest one yet. I'm, I'm super excited to see them in person. And I know the ride trucks we're going to be, they're going to be, like, they're going to be Soldier Fortune, Max D, 
I think they're not going to do Max D because it's bad, it's though. Um, I know they did El Troll Loco. I don't know they're going to do a Great Cliffs Mohawk Warrior. Maybe, um, maybe Lucas Oil Crusader? I don't know. Backdraft? What are you gonna? You let me know what trucks are what red trucks are gonna be. So you let me know that. So these guys are the retro rebels for the next Spin Master toy line for next year. So hopefully we might get to see those guys in the in person. So that that will be it for today. That will be the my 2021 wish list for the, for the Spin Master Monster Jam toy line. If you want to see if um, if they want to see the Spin Master are going to make new trucks, just let me know. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.